Well, hello, Rico Tice here from All Souls and Christianity Explored. I'm just delighted to be asked to endorse uh, the word one-to-one. -one. I think it's absolutely critical for where we are at the moment in Britain in terms of evangelism. Why is that? Well, historically, if you can see up here, here is uh, 1954, 55, and um, uh, um, here is man, here is our sin, here is God. And Billy Graham came to Haringey and preached the cross. And uh, wonderfully, thousands were converted. In fact, 40,000 were converted at Haringey. Here's the interesting thing. How many of them were already churchgoers? Answer, 90%. So people are in church, but they're called to repent and believe, and it's a great start. Thousands are born again. Uh, I arrive at All Souls uh, in 1994, 95, and where are we then? Well, actually, people are over here, and there are blocks in the way of them coming to faith. Quite big blocks. What are the blocks that, that, are, that are there? Well, uh, for example, uh, people, uh, as they hear the gospel, they think it's untrue. Uh, they think it's irrelevant. Uh, they think Christians are weird. Uh, they think they're homophobic. And, uh, and, and it takes longer, humanly speaking, to knock these blocks over for people to be ready to be in this place, to look at their sin and come to God and uh, to have that preached. And so it's taking longer to get people on courses and they need more information. So, uh, you know, that often would be two years, 18 months, just longer than one night as they went along. But where are we now? 2017, well our friends are here and they're on a totally different road. It's not presuming they're heading towards faith, we're a post-Christian culture and in fact what is the key thing as they're on this road to destruction defined by two things I think, tolerance and, and permissiveness, what is the, the, the key thing? Well I mean it's always been the case but now more than ever they need an individual who links them to Christian faith. Now, what we know about this country is the Christians are actually living really well. 67% of people, says a survey called Talking Jesus, have a Christian friend they like. And this Christian friend they like is absolutely crucial for them coming on a course, going any further. It's like this nowadays. It's as though you bring your friend along to a carol service. You give him to the preacher for 20 minutes to hear the gospel. But at the end of the service, you have to take your friend back and say, do you want to look at the Bible with me? Would you like to open up one of the gospels? We can look at the person of Jesus. In the past, because they had a bit of a Christian background, they dropped themselves onto a Christianity Explored course at the beginning of January. No longer the case. An individual now needs to look at the Bible with them to create some hunger as the Bible's open. That's where the power is. And then from there, we can get... Christianity Explored going or get them on courses. It's just crucial for us functioning and after the course as well. So if you like, that's historically where we are. Where, what does this mean theologically? Well, theologically, I guess it's saying this, that you hear the Bible from the front, you hear it in a small group, you have the Bible explained to you one-to-one, -one, and then lastly, you read it for yourself at home. Now, in terms of Britain, where have we been on this? Well, actually, the evangelicals in Britain, when I ask people around the country how they are in terms of uh, teaching from the front, often they'll score their first church they went to quite hardly, that highly. They'll say, look, seven out of ten in terms of relevance and in terms of faithfulness to Scripture. They'll give the pastor seven out of ten for how the Bible was handled. Small group, well, they say, I was in one. wasn't great, but I guess, you know, that would be about four. That's an average, four, five, six. No one ever looked at the Bible with me individually, naught. And then at home, I guess about 6 out of 10 people did read the Bible for themselves. So from the front, 7 out of 10, small group 4 if there was one, naught for 1 to 1, and at home 6. Now that is, oh gosh, I reckon 80 or 90% of the rooms say their lowest score is 1 to 1 when they're asked. And yet now, absolutely crucial for these others to be functioning, that someone individually sits down and says, do you understand? says, look, here's the example of how you live it. Someone says, look, th this is the next step for you. Someone says, this is how it applies to you. And the great thing is, word one-to-one -one can do that. What I love about this, of course, is that um, it gives you the questions, but also the answers. So people, if they're reading for the first time with someone, don't have to say, gosh, I, I don't know what I'm going to do next. It's all here, the question and the answers. They don't have to be a Bible teacher. We're just saying be a Bible sharer. And I think that's where this is so novel and so important. So both historically, <coughs> it's 1954, 
And theologically, I think this is the silver bullet going forward. And certainly as a course guy, if there isn't support like this, then in terms of getting people on courses, in terms of following them up after courses, well, it's so much less effective without the word going out one-to-one. -one. When I'm training leaders, the first hour of training is so often on, this is how you read the Bible individually, so the people who come on your tables, you can make sure you look after them. Because, I mean, here's the issue, isn't it? Shepherds don't give birth to sheep. Sheep give birth to sheep. And this is going to be great for mobilising church families, I pray, all over Britain.